Hi folks, just got back from work. Soxy the Wonder Cat and I have some washing to do. I was going to watch the Idiot Box and stream some YouTube. And I was met with this message, which if you own a Chromecast at the present moment, and it's an older version of Chromecast, you're probably also meeting this message. Now, it's my understanding, I've jumped online and seen all the helpful videos which is basically telling us that uh, we're at the mercy of Google and we're waiting for them to provide a fix. In the meantime a lot of people are doing the factory reset on their devices only to find that they can no longer access the Wi-Fi once they do that and essentially they're bricking their devices. So perhaps the amount of time it's taking Google to repair this issue is going to be very beneficial for them financially because these people are going to brick their older uh, Google devices and they're going to buy the newer one. Um, I'm hoping that's not the case. Hi and welcome to another episode of The Art of Engineering. I am a little bit uh, frustrated by this situation and it's my understanding that uh, people are resetting, doing the factory reset, because I went online to find out about the problem and of course there was a lot of information about the problem, not very much information about fixing the problem. Basically they're saying it's at Google's end on their server it's a, a dodgy certificate and it's something that they will have to deal with. In the meantime, a lot of people are doing a factory reset on their device, their older Chrome devices, and essentially they're bricking their Chrome because they no longer have access to Wi-Fi. So this is extremely disappointing and uh, my workaround for this situation is not to rush out and buy another $50 or $60 or $100 TV streaming device. I am pretty much over that and so it got me thinking, well, what's my workaround? for this streaming difficulty. And I am not saying that this is going to be a fix for the Google Chromecast. So if you're not interested in what I have to say because of that, click off the video. I'm not gonna clickbait you and keep you here needlessly. But uh, I think I've got a workaround using stuff that I have lying around at home and it's not as convenient as having it on your phone, but it may get me out of trouble. So. Let's have a look and see if we can get this to work. Now, firstly, to watch YouTube doesn't take a lot of uh, computing power. And so if you've got an old laptop lying around, let's face it, I'm sure you've got, I've got two or three of these lying around, superseded, but still operational. Even if the battery's a bit dodgy, plug it in the charger, it's gonna go. Now, I also have this device here. And this is called an Ant Sig, and it'll uh, mirror a screen. And I know it'll mirror a screen because when I had my cycling exercise machine <laughs> that uh, you could uh, race on and race people virtually out on the internet, once again, a wonderful piece of electronics that lasted about three months and blew up. Very annoying, tried to fix it. My service mount skills are a little bit dodgy and the smoke, the magic smoke left that device and we no longer have that. But we do have the Antsig, which is what I was using to plug into a large screen TV from the laptop. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get this laptop to work on my large screen TV and then I can watch YouTube on the TV and I don't have to buy another Google Chromecast. Laptop's installed and the Antsig is uh, plugged into the HDMI at the back here. And uh, looks like we might uh, be a goer. Let's see if we've got sound as well. ...to visualise radio signals for some time, and while it's a great tool, it's far too small. So I recently upgraded to the Tiny SA Ultra Plus... So folks, if your laptop has an HDMI cable, you can just plug it straight in and mirror your screen. Um, that device that I have there is, I guess, USB-C to HDMI, and they can be got for like 20 bucks online, if not cheaper. And that might be a workaround for you that you may not have thought of. Um, you might already have everything you need to watch uh, YouTube or anything you can watch on your computer um, on your TV set. So give it a try if you haven't thought of it. I'm hoping that uh, Google does the right thing and provides a fix. And to all those people that have uh, done a factory reset and maybe have caused problems to their device, I'm hoping that uh, Google will allow them perhaps to trade their older device in and at least get some money off on the new one. That might be a way of mitigating 
what I think is a complete disaster in marketing for them. It's a very, very popular device and a lot of people have bought it and I'd like to think that uh, we're gonna get a good outcome from this situation. Lots of ham radio videos to watch. Ringway Manchester, great content. M much bigger subscriber base than my tiny little channel. 7-3, and I shall see you in the next episode of The Art of Engineering.